is we're going to put number one. Go ahead and glue a graph in. Hey guys, we are short on time. Let's keep moving. Just go ahead. I can't get into that right now because I'm making a video, but go ahead. We're short on time. We've got a lot to get done here in the next 15 minutes. This is the first thing we're doing. So if I give you this equation, y equals negative 2x plus 3. Okay, I give you this equation. First thing we're going to identify is the slope and the y-intercept. What is my slope? Negative 2. What is my y-intercept as an ordered pair? Zero, three. Zero, three. Okay. And then once you have this written down, I want pencils down. You're going to look, listen, learn so you don't miss anything. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is plot the y-intercept. So I'm going to put a point right here at 0, 3. First thing I do is plot the y-intercept. Then I use my slope to tell me where to put the next point on this line. My slope is negative 2. I'm going to go ahead and put a 1 under that. So I remember that I'm going to drop 2, forward 1. Drop 2, forward 1. Because it's a negative, that's why I... So remember what I just said like 7 minutes ago, put the negative in the numerator? You have forward 2 on the graph. Yeah. Did I? They're just, it's just such a small little graph. Here we go. And I want you to have at least four points if it'll fit on the graph. And then you take your ruler and you connect them. And you just created a equation, a graph from an equation. That's the first part of this. So go ahead and fill that in now. Okay. So you plot the y-intercept, and then you use the slope, to plot three more points. And the slope literally tells you where to go. This top number is rise or fall, so this is going to be a fall, two, forward, one. If the top number was positive, then that would be a rise 2 over 1, right? So if your slope is negative, remember Mr. Slope Face, it should be decreasing from left to right. Okay. If it was positive, it would be increasing from left to right. put a squiggle line here so that now you understand that now we're going to be creating an equation from the graph.
ahead and graph this line. So this time we're starting out with the, the actual line on the graph. It's just four. It's, it's four. Oh, are you talking about three? So when you are actually just given the line, it, it could have as many as it, as it gives you. But when you actually have to create the line, I want, if you can fit them, four points. Okay. All I did was draw this and then put a little bullet point. So I haven't done anything else. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is determine the slope. Who remembers how we determine the slope? What, what do we do? We count, yeah. But specifically, what do we count first? What do we count second? What are we going to do here? Sebastian? We're going to first start with the one at the bottom left and going upward to positive. Mm -hmm. And then we know we would go and count upward to the next dot. Mm -hmm. And then you can count me how it's right. Yep, so I'm rising four, so it's going to be positive. And then I run three. And then I determine the y intercept. So I'm given the graph. First I have to find the slope. Then I have to find the y-intercept. What's my y-intercept of this graph? Jason? Um, it's a uh, zero, comma, mm -hmm. four. Close. Negative four. Just because it's, yeah. Now I have my slope, I have my y-intercept, what would my equation of this line be? What's the linear equation here? Zane? Y equals 4 thirds x minus 4 x. Yep. So it's really important that everybody understands the top graph, we created a graph from an equation. The bottom one, we created an equation from a graph. Is everybody with me on this situation? Yes? You're with me, Carson? Yep. Okay. How are you doing back there, Cooper? Wait, what do you need to say? Okay. I just asked if he was following along. Oh. Yep. Okay. So I am making, I just made this into a video, Cooper, so maybe during SLT. It's a short one, but you'll be able to catch up. You can borrow the supplies, too, if you need them. Okay. All right.